Hello everyone and welcome to another StarCraft 2 livecast, I almost said replay, livecast against Hank Hill, a Master League Zerg player. Not enough minerals. So we'll see how this goes. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. All right, send me our gas. Not enough minerals. Additional supply depots required. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Base is under attack. Our SCVs are under attack. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Base. Not is enough under minerals. Not enough minerals. Cut workers to get the barracks down. I think that's a good idea because we'll still get we'll still supply cap at twenty three to twenty three. Under attack. And this way, I can get the orbital faster while I'm supply capped. Or supply blocked, whatever it is. Interchanges too. They don't mean the same thing though. Shouldn't do that. Base is under attack. Alright, we got Zerglings out. Orlings. It doesn't look like they're crossing the map. So I think we're pretty quite safe. Additional supply depots required. Yep, yeah, so there we go. We still reached 23 of 23. Spike cutting workers. Additional supply depots required. Now we can spend some of this time more productive as we can uh, build the orbital during that time. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. Command center upgrade complete. He must have taken an alternate hatch if he kept his lings at home. Command center upgrade complete. Overlord speed, interesting. Probably means he's not going for a fast layer. Because usually they don't commit to that early game scouting if they're going to have a layer soon, anyways. So I feel like he has open three hatch.
base is under attack. Command center upgrade complete. Not enough minerals. Mayday! Mayday! Add-on complete. Add-on complete. Not enough energy. Additional supply depots, insufficient Vespine gas. Add on complete. Research complete. Upgrade complete. Additional supply depots, research complete. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. He is going super economical. Add on. I feel like we may have lost. Not enough minerals. Not enough minerals. It's a lot of bases. Not enough minerals. Additional supply depots. Not enough minerals. Base is under attack. Mineral field depleted. This Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots. Can't hold them alone. Mineral field depleted. Mineral field depleted. Base is under attack.
Got any extra firepower? Additional supply depots required. Command center upgrade complete. Our SCPs are under attack. Mineral field completed. Not enough energy. Command center upgrade complete. Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots required. Additional supply depots required. Got any extra fire? Additional power. supply depots required. Base is under attack. Whoa, where are my ravens going? That's not where I sent them. Insufficient Vespine gas. Got any extra firepower? Uh, it's heating up out here. Command center upgrade complete. Base is under attack. Not enough energy. Oh, seriously, that went down? Vespine geyser exhausted. Not enough energy. Base is under attack. Command center upgrade complete. OK. 
Okay. Any extra firepower? Your forces are under attack. Got any extra firepower? Okay. Got any extra firepower? Command center upgrade complete. Mineral field not enough energy. Mineral field depleted. Base is under attack. Mineral field is under attack. Vespine Geyser exhausted. Uh, it's heating up out here. Field depleted. Mineral field. Got the extra firepower. Yeah. I think he's in a lot of trouble now. So I was purposely avoiding the top left or top right. I think it had exercise defense. But if I can get Hellbat to anywhere where there's not uh, spine crawlers, I think he's in a lot of trouble. So I was looking at this space, this space, and then even these bases that are mined out. Because I figure I'll just give him this one. He has six spines, which is a lot, and a bunch of spores. If you look on the mini map, I also saw 
creep tumors. So on the mini map, it even looks like it's higher. It looks like even more defense there, because th this guy and uh, this guy look like um, they're spine crawlers as well. Let's see if I was right about the early game. I feel like his economy was at least matching mine, but probably ahead. So I always say if I can get to 45 workers when he gets to 60, I feel okay. Although with this build, I often am close to par because I have so many command centers. But let's see if I hit 45 before he hits 60. So he did go for three hatch build. You got overlord speed despite the layer not being too late. Usually when I see overlord speed, I assume he's not going for fast layer. And I guess it's not fast. It's like normal time. But it's definitely not especially slow. One thing you can do with your Banshee is when he's on three bases, and especially since the natural is going to be the third base, there's going to be transfers of drones. So had he taken this base, it would have been nice. You can just leave your Banshee here, where there should be no creep, and then whenever he tries to transfer Jones back to the natural, uh, you can catch them, pick off a couple. See the other thing I do, and just kind of uh, Set up a patrol on the outside, outskirts of his creep. See his vision just sees a little bit beyond the creep. And then when he moves it, he gets popped off. And sometimes that keeps his creep way, way back. Because maybe that's like the line of creep from the beginning of the game that's going to go all the way to your base. And maybe he doesn't replace it when he loses it. Like he didn't replace, well he just replaced this one but he hasn't started transferring. You never know. Especially if it's like a low queen build. He may just be like throwing down tumors only when he fails in jack sequences. So he may not have extra energy for it. Yeah, that's a sixth base. I haven't even thought about taking my fifth yet. I'm gonna lose one. damage done there, the two, making two bases at once. That was a nice attack by him. I wasn't sure if either planetary would go down, it ends up both of them went down. So the Hydras are shooting this PF, getting repaired. This is getting shot by the uh, Caustic Spray. If you didn't know how this works, it does very low damage at the start, 7 damage per second. That's for the first 4 seconds, and then it gets 500% increase in damage and starts doing 35 damage a second. So, you can repair for a little while, and then it becomes uh, almost pointless. So the key is to start putting damage on it during the first 4 seconds, because after that you're not going to get the opportunity for much longer. He did trade off a good portion of army. I mean, units lost is in my favor, even though I'm losing planetaries. My Hellbat upgrades are on point this game. I hit 3-3 really early, even though I didn't feel like a game where the Hellbats are doing much. It just feels nice to hit my armories to go do upgrades. I'm like, oh, sorry, everything's already 3-3. That's cool. Then you start getting things like that, Hydra kills and stuff.
This went down. I wasn't sure how. Alright, just got it all here. Some parasitic there. Never fun. Again, sending on my ravens with my hellbats. These hellbats are going at the middle. Ravens at the side base. Oh, <laughs> one hit away. Both still have very healthy economies. We did get him back down to five bases again. If you call this a base. So I definitely don't feel behind on economy anymore. Like I did in the early game. So we must be doing better. Use of hydras and corruptors there. I just take out the uh, missile turrets, so the corruptors have free reign on killing structures. I'm stretching him a little bit with the multitasking. Cause these hellbats, with hydras alone versus hellbats, you got to micro the hydras, and he has no buffer for the hydras. This hydra laying or hydra rogue should be different. We're able to establish this bottom left position too and get the double planetary with the missile turrets back up. There's always one piece of this missing it's at all points in the game. Either one was a command center or the planetary didn't have any missile turrets in front of it. Or I wish planetaries, you could like turn off the ability of it how do I, how, how would it work? That you could build a command center right next to minerals or gas geysers, but then you wouldn't be able to mine from that command center. That's what I'm looking for. So like when something's coming down this ramp, I can have my second planetary like, like this, right? Give a good, good structure. So both planetaries can fight at the same time. Because sometimes you just can't get a good layout of your PFs because of the uh, rest building restriction based on uh, being too close to these mining nodes. 18 workers. Anyways, with that, we'll call it the end of this video. Thank you everyone for tuning in, and I'm out of here. Goodbye.